The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Andrew Capehart, and I'm with the APS Technical Assistance Resource Center. I'll be your moderator for today. Uh, today, we'll be hearing about World Elder Abuse Awareness Day from Aisha Perry of the Administration for Community Living, Office of Elder Justice, and Adult Protective Services. Uh, thanks to everyone for joining us today. A bit of housekeeping before we get started. This session is being recorded and will be posted online at a later date. We'll notify all attendees via email when the recording is available and provide a link for you. Uh, to connect to audio, please select telephone or mic and speakers from your GoToWebinar control panel. Um, you'll see an example of it circled here. All attendees are muted for this webinar, so there's no need to mute your line manually. To ask a question of our speaker, Aisha, at the end of today's webinar, simply type your questions into the questions box on your GoToWebinar control panel, as shown here, circle in purple. Uh, you do not need to wait until we pause for questions. You can enter questions at any time, and I'll relay them to our speaker at the conclusion of the webinar. So, um, at this point, I will turn things over to Aisha. Hello. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's webinar. I am Aisha Perry, as Andy stated, with the Administration for Community Living. Today, ACL and our federal partners are kicking off our 30-day countdown to World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. As you know, June 15th is WEAD. What is your state doing um, for, to celebrate WEAD this year? Next slide, Andy. As you know, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day was launched on June 15, 2006 by the International Network for the Prevention of Elder Abuse and the World Health Organization of the United Nations. Every year on June 15, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is commemorated in America and throughout the world. We have provided an opportunity for communities around the world to promote a better understanding of abuse, neglect, and exploitation of older persons raising awareness of culture, social, economic, and demographic processes affecting elder abuse and neglect. An estimated five million adults are affected by abuse, neglect, and exploitation. So let's get together and find some ways to either stop, mitigate, or either um, curtail the abuse that's been taking place in the United States and across the world. Next slide, Andy. This year, our theme is lifting up voices. The theme was developed in coordination with the National Center on Elder Abuse and the National Clean House for abuse in later life, which is also known as NCALL. At this center of unifying a parallel fields of elder justice and violence against women, by bringing the forefront of the lived experiences of older people around the globe. This year, we invite you to join us and other organizations and communities across the country in using our collection of special Lifting Up Voices outreach and campaign tools to promote some of your activities that will be hosted either in your state or in your community. As you know, we have tons of uh, resources that can be found on our website. So as we continue to go through this webinar, I'll show you some of where our um, resources can be found or either downloaded. Next slide. So let's take a look at some of our 2019 activities. Next slide, Andy. All right, so this year we will host a virtual art gallery as, as we've done in the past. Individuals may submit their art that they provide to us on any form of artistic representation on aging process or following some of our themes such as supportive communities, public awareness, or just combating ageism. Our deadline for submitting these um, forms of art is June 1st, and it also can be uploaded onto our We at Arts site, which is located on the um, PowerPoint slide. And if you are unable to either take a picture of it or either copy it, Andy does have the slides available at the end of this webinar. Next slide, Andy. Last year, we received quite a few submissions from some of our artists throughout the United States. And so here's just some of uh, a snippet of what we received. Um, the art can either be drawn art, painted art, photographs, or it can just be some poem or poetry or something along those lines. So feel free to share with us some of your artistic capabilities that you have, and we will make sure they are displayed on our website. Next slide, Andy. As you know, in the past, well, I'll say for the past few years, ACL has received um, various updates and emails from states that are doing things as it relates to World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. So we have a world map 
that we are showing right now. This is from 2018. However, we do have a 2019 world map that's available where you can go and upload your activity, your idea, your picture, whatever that your state or your community will be doing to commemorate World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. This is open through June 15th, so feel free if you have friends across the water on the other side of the world, please have them share or provide us some input on what they're doing for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Next slide. This year we will be hosting a Stronger Together World Elder Abuse Awareness Day webinar. This historic collaboration features speakers from the Administration for Community Living, NCEA, Elder Justice Initiative, Department of Justice, Social Security Administration, and some of our other federal partners. We will showcase innovations and highlight all of the latest in-demand tools created by organizations that are committed to providing consumer and professional education and dedicated to the goal of justice for all. We are especially pleased to have Dr. Elizabeth Pondiac, who is one of the curators for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. She will discuss evaluating our present collective efforts on World Elder Abuse Awareness Day as to where we are and where we've come from. So if you are available, please um, register and join us on June 7th at 9 a.m. Pacific time and 12 p.m. Eastern time. So you can hear from some of our state partners as well as some of our federal partners. Next slide, Andy. All right, so ACL along with the National Center on Elder Abuse will be hosting a World Elder Abuse Awareness Day listen session where we will share on ways to combat elder abuse, neglect, and financial exploitation. This um, segment will also be recorded, so if you're unable to physically listen during that time, you can visit the website, which is seniorzone.com, and click on the banner that's, that reflects the current title for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day to get a feel for what our conversation entailed on June 7th at 10 a.m. And that's also Eastern time. Next slide, Andy. So as you know, we have tons of resources that are available. Um, they are listed on the uh, PowerPoint, as you can see. They can be found on our uh, NCA.ACL website. These tools can be used either to frame whatever it is that you guys will be working on. You can also insert your logos. You can insert some of your pictures. Anything plain language that addresses uh, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. And it's also used to promote World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, to um, share your resources with your community, um, pass out flyers or send emails, whatever that looks like for you guys. So feel free to use our uh, resources that are available. They can be found on the website that's located at the bottom of this PowerPoint. Um, and use them at your, at your leisure. Create them, whatever that looks like for you guys. All right, Andy. Next slide. All right, here's some fun information. ACL currently has a state enhancement grant um, funding opportunity that's out on the streets now. I'm sure many of you have either applied to it or either are current recipients of the state enhancement grant. If you are eager to do something more innovative or add on to what you're currently doing with your current grant, feel free to apply to this grant. The grant closes on June 24th. The information for the grant as to what it entails can be found at grants.gov. If you have any questions as it relates to the grant, feel free to send myself, Aisha.Gurley, at acl.gov an email, and we will reply back to your email regarding your question as it relates to the state enhancement grant. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to Kendra. Hi, this is Kendra Keene from the National Adult Protective Services Association. Um, and on for WEAD, we'll be having our fifth global summit um, for the anniversary of WEAD, it will be in DC at the Securities and Exchange Commission building. We'll be doing it in partnership with the um, National Center for Victims of Crime again. And we're still finalizing the agenda, but um, currently we have a media panel planned as well as um, a panel around some new innovations in financial uh, technology. So, um, and the link is on the slides or um, you can let me know if you need help with that. Uh, Great. Thanks, Kendra. We appreciate that. <clears throat> and the slides are available to download on the GoToWebinar control panel. If you want to just click on it under handouts, you can download the slides and you'll see all the links that we talked about today. 
Um, just a quick note about the next in-person meeting we have coming up this summer. It will take place in conjunction with the 30th Annual NAPSA Conference. Uh, our meeting is scheduled for August 18th and 19th from Sunday at 3 to 5 p.m. and Monday from 9 a.m. to noon. Grantees are encouraged to use grant funds to travel to Colorado. Um, if any grantees are participating in the NAPSA board meeting the same day on Sunday, the grantee is highly encouraged to send a representative that can speak to their grant activities. And our meeting will focus on building connections and community between grantees, generating ideas and lessons learned for a successful grant. And there will be more information coming about that. We'll send out an email to everybody and give you the details. Um, so this is just a kind of save the date uh, so you're aware that we're having that meeting later on this summer. At this point, I think we'll open things up for questions. If you have any questions of our presenters, you can type those in the questions box on your GoToWebinar control panel. Um, and then I will relay them to our speaker. So we'll wait just a minute and give folks an opportunity to type any questions in that they have. If you have a uh, local activity happening for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, you want to tell us about that, we'd love to hear about it too. If you're looking for activities or something innovative to do, visit our NCA.ACL website and there are tons of activities that you guys can either create on your own or either mimic and use in your community or for your organization or for your state APS program? Here's one question, Aisha. Are there, um, what are the resources available in the toolkits that you mentioned earlier? So we have World Elder Abuse Awareness Day Toolkit that can be found on the nca.gov site. Within that toolkit, we have some fact sheets, we have some um, proclamations, sample proclamations, we have some sample blogs, we have some sample tweets, uh, we have some sample uh, declaration letters, we have some uh, sample activities, and we also have some reframing tools, um, fact sheets that just recently were published, probably about 60 to 90 days ago, that we did in conjunction with the reframing, um, with the Frameworks Institution to help us make ageism look um, simple and plain and not as complex as it's been in the past. So there's, those are some of the um, tools that we have available for you guys to either download, copy, scan, print, whatever you desire to use them for. That's great. Sounds very helpful. And here's a question for Kendra. <clears throat> Kendra, will the event, the NAPSA event for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day um, be uh, shown online? Is there any way to participate in it online? Unfortunately, this year, we're not going to be able to do that due to some technical issues. Um, sure. But we will certainly put out the agenda. So if you have any speakers you'd like it to get into contact with or anyone you think looks interesting, let us know. Great. Thank you. And if you happen to be in the DC area, we showed the URL or the web address where you can register for that event um, earlier. That's in the slides if you want to download them in the GoTo webinar handout section and participate in that because registration is free, right, Kendra? Uh, correct. Okay, great. Um, one other question for you, Aisha, and if you can answer this, uh, can we continue grant activities from previous grants if we apply for a new grant? So yes, you can continue activities from a, from a previous grant if you apply for a new grant. However, um, the individuals that are on the existing grant cannot be on the incoming grant at 100%. So you will have to break up that fraction of time for whomever is going to be either the project director or the point of contact for that grant. Great. Great. Oh, I'm sorry. And the activities cannot be the same. They can either build on what you're currently doing or they can be something totally new. Great. Thank you for that clarification. It's very helpful. Um, so if anyone has other questions, just type them into the questions box and I will relay them to our presenter. We'll give it a couple minutes um, for any other questions to roll in.
I'm not seeing any additional questions at this time. Maybe we'll give it just one more minute in case anyone has any questions. Again, you just type those into the questions box and I will relay them to our speaker. All right, we'll wait just another minute to see if any other questions roll in. But in the meantime, just as a wrap up, um, you can contact the APS Technical Assistance Resource Center at any time. That's um, with my office. And here's the web address if you want to visit our website. Um, there's also an email address if you have any sort of cell protective services issue that you're dealing with, that you're struggling with. Um, shoot us an email and let us know about that and we'll do everything we can to help you with it. Um, if we can answer your question directly with resources we know of, or if there's a state that is tackling the same issue that you are, we can put you in touch with them so that you have the opportunity to talk to them, get some peer support uh, from other programs that may be wrestling with the same thing. Um, so we're here to help any way that we can, just reach out to us anytime. Well, I'm not seeing any other questions roll in at this point. So I think if there aren't any more, we're probably done for this particular webinar. I wanted to thank Aisha for joining us today and going over everything about WEAD um, and Kendra for telling us a little bit about the NAPSA event that's coming up. Um, is, is there anything else anyone wants to share before we wrap up today? No, nothing else over here from us, ACL Andy. Okay, great. All right. Well, thanks so much, everybody, for your participation. And we hope that if you have a local World Elder Abuse Awareness Day event, that it will be helpful for you. Have a great afternoon.